Now we're almost finished with the installation. We have the water and the power connected, the final rinse temperature and the wash and power rinse temperatures thermostats set. The last thing we need to adjust is the vent hood adapter baffles. The adapter baffles need to be adjusted so it only draws in the steam that comes underneath the curtains while the machine is in operation. The EST44 and 60 inch conveyors require 600 CFM total, 400 at the exit, and 200 at the entrance. Now to adjust the baffles. You're going to require two 7 16 inch wrenches to do this procedure. You're going to close the baffles while steam is coming out and you're going to open them just enough to draw in the steam into the vent hood adapter. The vent hood adapter installed properly will overhang the exit of the machine or the entrance to draw in the steam. Once you've opened up the baffle, steam has been drawn in, then you use the rear wrench to tighten the baffle so you lock it into place. Once you're done with the final rinse, you'll move to the entrance of the dishwasher and repeat the process. We've completed setting the rinse side vent hood adapter baffle and we're going to repeat the process on the entrance side. Again, using a 7 16 inch wrench on both the front and rear of the baffle, we're going to open up the baffle just enough to draw the steam into the vent system. Once you have the steam being evacuated from the outside of the curtain, you're going to use on this one the front wrench to tighten down the baffle so it doesn't move. Now that you have both baffles adjusted properly, the, only the steam will be captured that leaves the machine, which will retain the heat inside the dishwasher at all times. Now we have the installation almost completed. The water, power are connected, the temperatures are set, both for the wash, power rinse, and the E10 booster heater. The last adjustments that need to be made are on the dish tables. Make sure when the tables are installed, they are always slightly angled back to the dishwasher to recover as much water on the table as possible. To do the final inspection, to make sure your installation is complete, run your dish machine. Check your pressure, check your temperatures, make any final adjustments necessary. The wash tank thermostat should be set so the gauge reads between 155 and 160 degrees. The power rinse tank should be set so the gauge reads between 160 and 165 degrees. The final rinse in a high tap application should read between 180 and 195 degrees. In a low tap application, you should have the final rinse temperature between 140 and 145 to 150 degrees. Now we're going to install the table limit switch on the clean side table. To remove the template located on the table limit switch, remove all the hardware and remove the template from the switch. This template is only used to align and drill the holes for the table limit switch in the clean side table. Place the template on the center of the clean side table and mark your holes where they need to be located. Remove the template and drill the holes. Once the holes have been drilled, you're going to take your table limit switch and remove the activator bar. For demonstration purposes, on this unit I've already taken the bar off. Place the unit through the two holes that you pre-drilled using your template. Reinstall the activator bar onto the table limit switch. The table limit switch is now fully installed and it will interrupt the operation of the dishwasher when the racks are on the clean table, stopping it from backing up into the dish machine. In the event you have a dish table that has a turn at the end, there is a 
whisker type table limit switch available upon request. This concludes the installation of the CMA ESD44 and ESD66 inch conveyors. The similarities between these two machines are very, very close. The connections to these two machines are almost identical, except you have one more pre-wash motor in an EST-66 than you do have an e in the EST-44. Both machines motors have thermal overloads in case they overheat. They will shut down and re-begin when they turn off. Congratulations. Now your new EST-44 conveyor has been installed and all procedures have been followed. As a final inspection, follow the checklist that has been provided in the installation manual and should be checked off prior to activating the machine for operation. Check all electrical connections to ensure they are tight and secure. Check all water, drain, and plumbing connections for leaks, tighten if necessary. Check final rinse arms, rinse jets, spray should be straight up and down. Check wash pump rotation, make sure it is turning clockwise. Check the dish rack movement, conveyor arm and bar, and the conveyor dog's alignment. Check tray track guide rail alignment throughout dishwasher and alignment with tables. Check conveyor timer dip switch settings. Only switch number six should be in the on position for 32 seconds. Check wash tank temperature, 150 degrees Fahrenheit minimum. Check power rinse tank temperature, 160 degrees Fahrenheit minimum. Check final rinse temperatures, 180 to 195 degrees Fahrenheit for high temperature applications and 140 degrees in low temperature applications. Check final rinse pressure, 20 PSI, plus or minus 5 PSI. Check table limit switch operation. If not installed, warranty will be voided. Check vent hood adapter baffles position to draw in steam. Optional. Keep baffles open to a minimum. Check and make sure dishwasher is level. Check to make sure all curtains are in place. Read all labels, follow procedures. Review installation section before beginning the installation of the EST44 conveyor dishwasher. All installation procedures and guidelines should be followed during installation.